These are good questions, girl. You're doing a great job because now my brain's really thinking. I'm like, what can I say and what can I not say? <laughs> Give him the juicy news. <laughs> Do you want to go first, Noah? <laughs> Sorry, what did you say? <laughs> Noah records naked sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Hello guys, it's Noah and Josh, and you're watching Febrachine. I got this. We were actually going to. Yeah. <laughs> We were going to in the Nosh episode, the first one we ever did. The um, most iconic, like, 99 episode ever. Sorry. I, I, yeah, that, I have to say that as well. That's like the best 99 episode. We had show. so many good memories during that time. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> but we were brainstorming ideas for like that episode, and we thought that we would get um, matching tattoos on the bottom of our big toes. Yeah. But it was not approved, so that never happened. <laughs> Let's just still do that, though. Do you want to go first, Noah? <laughs> it's gorgeous eyes. I get lost in them all the time. No, I'm just fine. Um, no, he does have beautiful eyes. The one thing I really like about Josh is that he's extremely hardworking and, and driven, and that's always inspiring when you get to be around someone like that. So I appreciate his work ethic a lot. Aw, thanks. I think I think to be a dancer that good, you have to put in a ton of work. So I just respect <laughs> that. Yeah, yeah. Something I admire about Noah is actually the same kind of thing. He's always working, and as soon as he told himself that he wanted to become a producer, he literally dedicated his whole life to it, and it's super inspiring to me to see that because he had something he wanted to achieve. And before he he had no idea, but he spent all of his time looking at YouTube videos, working with different producers, and just figuring out a bunch of stuff. And now he's writing songs that are like the most amazing songs you could ever hear. So I'm super excited to hear what you've been working on in this time. But yeah, I would say the same kind of thing, his drive and work ethic to just better himself. Damn bro, it's gonna make me cry. So nice. yeah. <laughs> I've been through a lot, man. I've been through this. <laughs> what annoys me, man, um, I mean, is that his hair is perfect all the time. Yeah, he's always got beautiful hair, and I wake up and I'm just like, oh, uh, yeah, okay, cool to go. His I don't hair, know about that. Hair. I don't know about that. <laughs> I used to have that platinum hair. Remember that? Yeah, that was not the best. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at the time, it. at the time it was cool, but now that you have that hairdo locked in, it's just like that's your look, dude. Like I look yeah. at you, you look so good with that hair. So it just, Aww, thanks. Like the the platinum, cool, but that, bro. Fire. Thank you. The platinum, yeah, it was not. It was not it. I must say, there was a scary time for Josh. Hey, um, hey, hey I had super long hair. Remember how that looked? Uh uh. Hey, that was like there was a point where that was that was good. <laughs> but then when we we performed on the voice kids russia <laughs> yeah. my hair the first time i grew it out in the beginning of 99 it looked so bad but the last time i did it when we we're in um then mexico we did, we did mexico and all that stuff i loved how my hair looked so that's why i, I want to grow my hair out. but yeah yeah i agree i agree i love that hair on you what annoys me about noah <laughs> you know what is actually the same kind of thing is um, he's always asking me to make songs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and there's a lot of the times I'm so tired and like, I love to make songs with Noah and we've made some bangers. Yeah. But to get me to have the motivation to put into a song, I have to have a lot of energy. And a lot of the time on tour, I don't have any energy. <laughs> so I would say that, that annoys me a bit. And I totally understand that. <laughs> I know a couple of things. These are good questions, girl. You're doing a great job because now my brain's really thinking. I'm like, what can I say and what can I not say? <laughs> Give him the juicy news. <laughs> <laughs> we have the same birthday. <laughs> I don't know what to say. No way. <laughs> Uh, one thing that you guys probably don't, well, you might know this about Josh, um, but he's actually a really good skateboarder. Josh is pretty saucy with the skateboard. I just know that he could do 10 times more than and like what I could do. You know, so. Thank you. I'm trying to think 
during all this time. The, the fans really know everything about us. That's the crazy thing. Almost everything. <laughs> oh, uh, I, I have like a short story. The one time we were, uh, I was secretly in LA and nobody knew about it and me and Noah met up. We met up at a studio and when Noah went into the studio to record, he got naked. <laughs> So Noah records naked sometimes. When you, when you hear me singing on a song, just know I'm really giving it my all. There's I'm, nothing holding you back. Nothing holding me back from being one with the music. So. Oh, Noah's celebrity crush, if I know it, uh, he's told me a, a few different ones. Emma Chamberlain co comes up a lot. Yeah, she's fire. Who else is your celebrity crush? Can you I, tell me a bunch. Can I say? Oh, oh Zoe Kravitz. Oh my. Mm. Zoe Kravitz, so beautiful. I just like her aura as a person. But you can't, you can't say Zendaya because everyone always wait, talks about wait, Zendaya. Sorry what, did, sorry, what did you say? <laughs> <What>? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Haley I have that Bieber, same Bieber too. Haley Bieber, Bieber too. Like Haley Bieber. Um, honestly, I'm kind of crushing on Olivia Rodrigo too. Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. Who said once? Dixie, Samuel. I, I remember that. I did. <laughs> I did say that a long time ago. But she's in a relationship, so we don't say that. Oh, we don't. Respect relationships. Though. But Zendaya is in a relationship too. We, we don't know. know. It's never yeah. been official. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think my biggest dream ever since I was a kid was to perform in front of a good amount of people. It didn't have to be <clears throat> 18,000 like how we're about to do in Portugal. <clears throat> it didn't have to be that. I, I, my biggest dream was always to go on a tour, whether it was for 200 people or 300. And that dream has definitely come true, but on the biggest scale ever. So now dreams we're come true tour. Yeah, Dreams Come True Tour was my biggest dream come true. And the fact that we get to do another tour where it's even more people and uh, we're doing even more shows, that's my biggest dream ever coming true so very grateful for that um but i would for in the future like to do some more movies and and um yeah release more music and have a good time what about you josh i have to say pretty much this, the same thing uh, to be able to perform in front of this huge crowd of people or any crowd of people that really is just there for you and, and is there to support you is like the most amount of love you can ever receive and it's the craziest experience ever so dreams come true to her dreams did come true but I also, I would love to go into to acting as well. So Noah inspires me in that. I, I see him going hard. We had those acting lessons back in slow. And I, I really like examined what he was doing and how he was doing it. So he's been a big inspiration for that. Hopefully I can get in some movies or shows or something in the future. And also a thing that I've always said in every interview when they asked me this is I've always wanted to perform at Madison Square Garden. El Chiamo, we love you so much and you're the best. <laughs> Thank you so much for always supporting us. And uh, I'm really excited to see you, your faces again very soon. Love you.